All right, here we go. So game one, Rob versus Lucas on PS2. Uh, not a big shock there. What's EDM like? I'm sure it's not what like the crew stands for. It's like electro. It's like electronic dance music, right? <laughs> hey, we got we got we got EDM Web JP uh, versus Josh then uh, on PS2. You know, I already see like a small percent lead here by Josh then. Uh, there's also the fact that Rob is kind of on the heavier side. Weight 106, same as Snake and Banjo. Um, those are some fairly heavy characters. Uh, and yeah, right now, uh, Josh then just kind of suffocating uh, WebJP. Not really going to get, get a head in here. Got one. Oh, and a nice little rando PK fire going to help uh, give him back center. Oh, my God. That might be it. Not. Nah, he had to lean back. Uh, if he was just a little bit more forward, that would have been enough. Uh, but, okay, we're, we're just jumping into that, I see. All right. Um, well, I hope that WebJP is able to, like, get an assessment on seeing uh, side Bs like that. Jothan, you're a good player, but when you throw out moves like that, it only frustrates me because I know that you're better than that. But, I mean, hey, get all the kills you can, right? Anyway, so now it looks just like that taking that stock was WebJP's wake-up call because now he's kind of just turning it up. Uh... Still at fairly low percent, uh, but it was able to get Jocelyn to, you know, a pretty high 114. Still going to have to rack on a little bit more damage or get some sort of setup uh, against him. It's, it's kind of hard to go for Gims versus Rob just because of how much uh, mobility he has access to him. <gasps> yeah, see, okay, good. That's what I'm talking about. When you do silly side bees like that, you get to eat literal Lucas up smash. Hilarious. All right, yeah, so WebJP going to be even up those stocks there and uh, absorbing that laser for a little bit of a heal there, going back down to 60. Yep. Okay, <sighs> he dodged that one very by the skin of his teeth, honestly. Uh, but, you know, that, that gave him a second lease on life uh, for this stock, so let's see how, uh, you know, he's able to take advantage of that. And, oh, okay, yeah, very nice. Double up air, punishing the get up on the platform. Always a really good situation when someone's down on the platform. You can just, like, go under them. It is, it's such a good position, especially for a character like Lucas with has access to that up air and, like, the weirdest jumps. Anyway, um, okay. You know, if WebJP has already kind of shown... Uh, Josh, and then he can't just throw out like rando side bees like that, you know, then, you know, he might be a little bit struggling to try and get a kill, but uh, up throw, up throw would have killed. But not having enough faith, but it doesn't matter. Uh, catching him out of the air dodge. Well, not really like the air dodge. Yeah, no, he basically caught him out of the air dodge. Um, he was able to dodge the up smash, but then was still in a bad situation, and uh, the up air was able to seal it out. And we're just going to do another uh, Lucas up smash. Right now, WebJP, two for two. Uh, for taking stocks with up smash. Um, not usually the great equalizer that we see from a character like this. It's a very difficult move to land. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, Josh then kind of catching his roll uh, with the side B. I think if you just kind of, it's like when you see the move, it's just like, oh my god, if he's using it, I might actually die. And he's just like at 76, it's like, oh, maybe I'm not. It's like, who knows what'll happen? He's doing it for a reason, right? Uh, but yeah. My god, all right, percents uh, very close, but there is the factor of the of that, you know, Rob is definitely heavier, so even though, you know, it's not that big of a percent difference, uh, like, these are both, like, fairly killy characters, I would say it's more killy for Rob, and the fact that he's heavier. Oh, are we going to see down throw up air? Oh, we're going to try. Oh, man, that gyro actually was a... Really good deterrent for him being able to mix up his recovery. And uh, that side B is going to cost him the stock. Yep. Uh, Lucas back throw. Uh, going to take him off the side. That that was a that was a roller coaster of a match. You know, <laughs> those, those up smashes were actually really funny. Yeah, just look how much lag you have from that. That's wild. Did I clip something twice? I might have. Well, anyway, let's see what happens here. Okay. Yeah, 
Yep, boom. <sighs> Let's see, he was able to get. Uh, yeah, here's where the down throw up smash missed. Up, up throw would have definitely killed. He would have landed on the platform. Because, like, Rob usually is able to kill, like, around 160. Their opponent at 160 with up throw. And then you just put him on the platform. It's, like, it's guaranteed. Especially on, like, a normal ceiling like PS2. Um, something I've noticed from, like, seeing Jocelyn play, like, uh, historically. He just kind of never goes for it. And uh, kind of unfortunate. But, anyway, game two. Just going to run it right on back. to PS2, so uh, Joshua then being like, all right, all right, my B, um, I, I'm, I, can adjust, I can adapt, I can adjust to that. Uh, let's get things going all over again. I like having the space. I'm gonna harass you from a distance. And uh, yeah, I mean, like we're seeing some, you know, uh, pretty modest damage. Still hasn't been touched uh, by, we by WebJP, so, uh, you know, maybe something, he's doing something right, especially when you know that they have already at least a whole uh, game of data on roots. So the fact that he's like switched up enough where he's only taken 10 damage uh, shows really good uh, adaptability. And he's just neutralizing those PK fires with uh, with the gyro, which you know is actually not that bad of an option just because like the, mo the moment the gyro disappears, uh, he can spawn another one. There isn't really a cooldown on that, so. And just the nature of how like Lucas has to do like his retreating PK fires, like once once it's gone, you know the 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 fear is also gone, and just like that, Josh is going to be taking that first stock, only taking 55 damage. That's going to be a really tough situation for WebJP uh, if he's unable to get some things started. But we're seeing already that like just the overall movement from Josh, then that's not going to be it, uh, is already showing to be very effective. Uh, my man's just really mixing up that movement and just kind of like taking WebJP for a ride. He doesn't really know how he, he's uh, how to get in. He's still trying different things on what to do and get get around this obstacle course. Oh man, I have to tweet this. Ah, this is the problem when I'm commentating. Whoa. Second, sorry for the delay, guys. This is just part of what I gotta do. What? All right, uh, I'm back. Uh, be sure to check out those tweets at um. <laughs> you know about EDM though. <laughs> anyway, be sure to check out twittercom 3000 I'll tweet out every set that's live, so you can definitely keep up with the action. Anyway, wow, he actually really just like evened up those stocks. Man, I miss all the action of that comeback. But anyway, he got reflected by his own PK fire and like lost the stock. Man, I can't wait to see the replays on that. I hope I clipped it. Anyway. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, it, a little unfortunate that I missed it, but, you know, WebJP definitely seemed to have adjusted to uh, the pattern that Joshin was throwing at him. Uh, Joshin's still, like, holding the lead here, and if he's able to hang on to it, we'll, be able to, we'll definitely be able to see a game three. But, you know, just because of how strong of a lead he had and that same strong lead was lost, uh, you know, I would not count WebJP out just yet. You know, 170 damage is knocking on death's door. Uh, and, like, he's still, you know, like, 60 damage. Like, if he's able to get the kill, like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so like I said, like, if he's able to get the kill, you know, 60 damage, like, yeah, he's losing. But, like, it's, like, well within the possibility of just trying making that comeback here. So you definitely know that, like, uh, 
even though Justin has the lead right now, he's definitely going to be kind of stressing because what was working before is not working now. And uh, I think he meant to do uh, turn around gyro. Obviously, he's not going to, you know, just side be ghosts over there. So, yeah. Um, see what he's able to turn around here. Uh, the gyro getting a little bit of an edge guard, but he kind of messed up the situation uh, for the follow up or just like to further it. And yeah. Uh, WebJP was able to command center back. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right, Josh, then beginning to switch things up a little bit uh, and just trying to make it back. I mean, there's also the fact that, like, you know, the mental game of, like, when you're going for just, like, regular exchanges and then when you're looking for the kill, like, switching for the win condition can be very hard. Um, even for, you know, oh, all right, yep. Yeah. Yeah, Jocelyn got a little bit desperate and kind of just went for a Hail Mary side B. Tried to end it, but yeah, great adaptation by WebJP. Just kind of being really aware and just really safe. Like, he, he realizes, like, okay, I'm getting rocked right now on that first stock. I got to turn something around. And what he did, you know, uh, really just paid off. Uh, let's see if I got all the... Yep, all right, I did get all the kills. So let's see what happens here. Ooh. All right. Yeah. So then, oh, I didn't get to see how all the damage like came on. Unfortunate. Yeah. Th this was just like a very long stock. He played the long battle, which is you know very commendable. Uh, you know. Yep. Just even did up right there. And even though he's gonna lose the stock first, you know, he didn't really let uh, Josh and put on enough damage where it, the the deal was sealed like it was still a fight it was still competitive you know 66 you know still anything can happen there you know you have to learn how to like how to run with that sort of a lead so yeah really great adaptation by webjp oh boom we don't do that we do not do that let's not throw out those moves